When Greece won its independence from the Ottomans in 1829, a Greco-Turkish rivalry emerged. The two countries constantly waged war with each other, and war tensions were high. This is what we like to call the Greco-Turkish Wars, but there are only two Greco-Turkish Wars. There was the war in 1897 and the war in 1919. The Greco-Turkish War of 1897 saw tensions and conflict over the Greek island of Crete, which was ruled by the Ottomans, but had a large ethnic Greek population. The Greek Cretans wished to separate from the Ottoman Empire and join the Kingdom of Greece, and the Greeks largely supported this. The Ottomans, of course, declined this, and on April 18th, the Greeks invaded the island. The war only lasted 36 days until the Greeks couldn't keep up their momentum and surrendered on the 20th of May. In 1919, the Allied powers were to divide the Ottoman Empire, which triggered the much larger conflict, the Turkish War of Independence. As the Ottomans refused to recognize Greek claims to their land, the Greeks invaded and declared war. The Greeks invaded and seized a good chunk of Anatolia, but as one by one the Allies began to surrender to the Ottomans. Realizing their fronts are too big to handle, the Greeks would be the last to surrender until 1922, the end of the Turkish War of Independence. The Republic of Turkey would be proclaimed, and Greece would take no land from the Turks. The Greco-Turkish Wars are periods in Greece's history of humiliation, as they are reminded of the two humili humiliating defeats that they encountered, and the Greco-Turkish rivalry still remains today.